podcast, this is Jill Mack. I'm the instructor for the Community College of Vermont, and today I'm going to be going over Chapter 14. So we're in Assignment 9, and Assignment 9 goes over Chapter 14. And Chapter 14 is Enhancements and Effects with CSS. So what I've done is on my assignment page, I have a link to the examples because I think it makes it easier to read the book and do the examples at the same time. So let's just look at the CSS first and here's what the CSS looks like. We are defining a div and a div tells us what the background is going to be, how things are going to float, what the height and the margin and the width are. But now we're starting to get into um, what we call dot syntax. So things within a div can be subdivided and they can be subdivided into something called all corners or one corner or elliptical corners or circle. And we have um, different attributes that we can do, the border radius kind of things, and we'll get into those um, as we're looking at each example. So let's look at the first one on page two, on page 365. So it tells us the page that we're going to. And we're doing rounded corners. So here's what this looks like. Here we have a square with um, probably about 25% corners. Here we have just one corner, has a really big arc in it, four corners, and how we've made a circle. So let's go into our developer tools with more tools and developer tools. And this, I happen to be using Chrome. And here we are in Chrome and we are looking at, that's because I was looking at it earlier, we're looking at the HTML. So here is our header. It's giving us a title and the link. So it's linking to this rounded corner CSS. We have um, the body has all of these. Now, if I move this over a little bit so we can see all four of them. As I move my cursor over each one of these divs, it's kind of highlighting it. And it's showing you down here what these margins and borders and paddings look like. So if I looked at this all corners, it shows me the first one, then one corner. So it's kind of pointing it out to you. So let's go back. And now let's look at the CSS. So I'm going to click on the CSS and then I'm going to go up to sources. So this path just kind of shows me that it's in this directory in chapter 14. And I'm looking at that. So I'm just going to narrow this down. And I'm going to show you here is the div, and then when we go to all corners, that's that's this one right here. If we had a radius, a border radius, instead of 20, suppose we made it 10. And now we see that this is a much smaller curve. If we change it to 20, back to 20 again. Oops. Oh. Kind of did that. Didn't mean to put that in there, so let's just delete that. So now this is 20 again. Let's change it to 30. So it's getting more and more rounded. Now if I brought it down to this circle, if I said I wanted it to be 50%, it's almost a circle, but here I have my, my um, border radius is 20 pixels. Here, my border radius is 50. That's what's making this. If I change this to a, well, maybe if I change it to a 50, I don't know if it would come out the same, but this is 50 pixels. You know, so we're starting it right around here instead of 50% at half. If I change this to, instead of the pixels, if I change this to the percentage, It doesn't quite look like border radius, border radius, 50 pixels. Oh, because this border radius has to be 50 pixels also. So if I do that to from 50 pixels to 50%, then I have a circle. Oops. Let me change that to pixels. 
and delete it I'm using a different keyboard and my radius here was just going to be 20 pixels I think that's where I started so now I go back to oops, hit the enter key I don't have my nice big keyboard with me you can tell so here on one corner here's another one on one corner once again we're using WebKit and WebKit is from Google um, and it allows us to do all of these border radius and different things they're kind of built in so we only have to do a little bit with our CSS here is our one quarter and if we wanted to change this to 25 pixels and change that it doesn't really change what about if I change this one to 25 yes you can see that this is a much smaller circle this would probably have to be a hundred pixels before it did anything and you, you can't really see it so let's move that back to 75 and move this to what was it 50 you can just um, refresh it also then we have our elliptical corners and our elliptical corners here we're doing 20 50 pixels, 20 pixels, 50 pixels, 20 pixels. If we reverse this and did a 20 pixel by 50 pixel, what would that look like? Doesn't really change much. If I did this a 20, then you would see that. If I did this a 50, then it kind of changes the order of the of the border radius and here on the circle if we wanted it more scroll down for that circle if we wanted it more elliptical maybe we could do the 60 percent does that change it oops I keep does this change it I think we'd have to go 40 and not 60 let's try that Get that there and what about 40 here yep so now we're starting to see it where it's not quite elliptical but um, it's a little bit more square and so you can play with those um, and see how they work and that's another way of kind of creating buttons we're on our way to learning how to create buttons and um, that's our example number one. So I'll see you in the next video.